All right, we are working some calculus problems, and we're focusing in here on uh, evaluating limits analytically. So let's take a look at this particular problem here. We've got uh, the limit as x approaches 0 of 22 times sine x over 12x. 22, 12. All right, let's remember that. Try to remember that. We've got the uh, limit as x approaches 0 of 22 sine x over 12x. Right, just making sure. Okay, um, so remember we're going to use this. This was what we kind of made a definition of that and at this point you can actually kind of show this by evaluating this numerically like we did in the last section all right so we got to use this fact here that the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x is equal to 1 now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split this up into two separate limits and this could be red now actually we could reduce this down okay so let's uh, let's go ahead and do that let's see that's 11 times 2 um, so 2 goes into both of these numbers right here um, 11 over and 2 goes into that what 6 times okay alright and then we just have sine x over x and I'll just put a bracket around that. Now the properties of the limit states that we can actually uh, split this up into two separate limits. And we'll have 11 over 6 times the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. Now the limit of a constant is just the constants. We have 11, 6 times. And we know what the limit of this is, right? This is 1, so therefore it's equal to 11 over 6. Now if he was actually just working this out, of course you could just see what the answer is. If, right, once you do this a couple times. But uh, we could actually, instead of doing this, even though this is the longhand version, we could actually just take this 11 sixth and just bring it out if you wanted to do it this way. Right, get that out of the way. It's just up to you. Right, and then of course 11 over 6. But Anyway, I'm just kind of going through, you know, this is the property of the limits right here, where you can, if you have a product inside, you could break it up if you want into two separate limits. All right. And hopefully, yeah, 11 over 6. Okay, moving on to the next problem.